Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farm River Extreme here. Here we are on our 10,000 cow challenge here on Comson Farm. I know it's been a while since I've done a video on this. But anyways, we're going to get cracked back into things as we're now need to figure out a way to feed our cows because, yeah, we're going to need a lot of TMR at the moment. Just to recap, as well to remind myself a little bit, our goal is to have 10,000 cows at the moment, we just got over a thousand. However, over the winter and that, or into spring and that, come spring and that, I am planning on expanding the amount of cows we got, at least doubling. I'm trying to get to at least 5,000 cows in spring and that. That will require us taking out a loan. However, I've got some plans I have. So, first of all, feeding for TMR and that, for the feeding that for now, for the coming year, I'm just going to buy TMR in. So, we've got all of our grass fields that are ready to mow and that, and. All of that is going to be used to get silage and sell. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fields here. Oh yeah, that's all of our fields. Oh yeah, also yeah, we've got a barley field. That's going to be our straw nat. Straw nat, I will tend on keeping that to use for bedding. But yeah, so I think if we go to our grass here and then go into what we've done, so yeah, so far I've done fields 5 and 3 and yeah, I don't know why i got to work over here now, on the barley field or right, work ready, because we need to what did we create by the BGA and 29 but first of all, before we do any of that I want to start bathing, because why not, so that's on. That's all unfolded. And yeah, so I mean, we've got just under 200 liters of soy generative. I am hoping that's going to be enough. And also, I forgot one thing a sec. Panel up, so yeah. Bell sizes. Oh yeah, we can do bit massive bell sizes, can't we, with this? So, I think what we'll do is we'll just do double sizes. I'll go too crazy now with the bell sizes, so... Yeah, I think double and that should be fine. That should what? Let's go with triple. Yeah, triple and that should be fine. Because, yeah, we've got a mower, bather, and that should wrap it as well. And then, yeah, a little bell on the back. I have installed a few more mods in because, yeah, in this episode, we're just going to be focusing on the stage work here. Because, yeah, we've got a lot of social work to do. It's going to take us a little bit of time to do. But as we head into December and that, I may, yeah, most likely we'll require a loan, about half a mil to a mil. However, the plan I'm going to do involves some gems, some metal and that, some gold and that. So, well, yeah, I want to find some unique ways of making f money around the farm and that. Especially now when we're heading to the winter now, you know, there's no contracts in that, so... See, I have looked at contracts, and there is no contracts at the moment. So at the moment, our ways of making money is essentially what we can come up with. Also things like the greenhouses, that could be good as well. Obviously we're still making some passive income now from our production, so... I think last time we had the Granny's Knitwear net all cracking on an army of Grannies, so... Obviously, yeah, I know we could get more crops than that if I want to and that, or more better. We're making a fair bit of clothes, so... For clothes, I think the best time to sell those is around, is it May, June time? I think that's time I checked, so clothes... Yeah, April, May, June, good prices for those. At the moment, yes, price is going up, but it is rather rubbish, so yeah, ain't, yeah pretty much anywhere from... March to June, or ideally April and May and that. That would be a good time for us to sell the clothes, but... For now, we've got bathing to do, so yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do first of all, is the bathing. Obviously, I forgot to check. With three size bells and that, so... That is... Says six and a half thousand years. I'm not sure that's correct, so... Maybe us uh the first bell on that, so... Because, yeah, that is 19,500 years, so... That is not going to be compatible, right? So... What I need to do is... 
set the back one have our help menu as a little handy tool here so I want to unload that bell because yeah that is a small one we have accidentally done with the normal sizes yeah don't get me wrong normal bell sizes is good but for the amount of size work we're going to be doing yeah now pull you back up and there we go so yeah, that's going to continue on to its thing. And yeah, things like the village. Also, yep. Yeah. So yeah, a little hop and skip there, but so far it is so good. So, I think to be fair, we're just going to keep on cracking on for this. And then we'll see where we stand afterwards once we're done here. So right, we increased our loan to 1.4 mil, so that is enough for the metal and gem production next episode. That is enough to purchase this land. And that is enough to, once again, lease the mower in that. So here we go, lease the mower. And again, the bailer in that. And to be honest, I'm going to lease a bell loader in that. I think really... I think we're just going to do one of these now, and we'll just keep on transporting it, so let's pick a John Deere Green out, because we can use our John Deere now, so John Deere Green, and then John Deere Yellow for the sides, that is looking nice, automatic bell loading, yes, because, yeah, again, there's nothing I was just going to think of avoiding the series, but at the end of the day, this is going to cost us a lot of time and money to get everything we need to do done, so... Okay, that was 21 grand, so yeah. Actually, rather than doing, like, skipping the head that, I think we can do a little quick time-lapse of this getting this all done. But yeah, so first of all, we're going to need a John Deere, so... We'll take these old mower steps off because I did use our mowers here to help speed things up a bit because we were getting to a point where we were catching, you know, with the bailer net. That was when we was using the swatch right, swathing and bailing net, so... Alright, I'm just going to tell... you going to do that for me, AI? I hope so. But yeah, let's get everything set up and then let's get cracking on. Target's unreachable. Great. So there we go. Another three and a bit grand spent. Three grand on, well, 3,100 on the beta and that. Bit of wrapper. And then I think it was something like 500 for the Sidage Active Drum. But without further ado. To be honest, it doesn't matter if we're doing swath drop here or not. I'd prefer to do swath drops now. Just so at least then this one is free for me to worry about. But at the end of the day, this ain't gonna take us too long. Maybe at most, what, half an hour or so to get us all done? Because to be honest, what I can do is once I get a headland or two done is set the worker off on this and then just keep on doing the bailing all that ourselves. Because, yeah, the moment we're sitting on about 4.5 mil, 4.45 million litres of silage, so I doubt from this we can get half a million litres in that, but if we can hit that half a million mark, you know, get up to 5 million litres of silage produced in one episode in that. Yeah, okay, fair, and that, that's took us, what, 4 hours or so to get up to 4.5 mil at the moment? But still, if we get up to that mark, that would be nice. And also, yeah, there are things like the sawmill now, because it's still utilising that if we want to. Oh, collectible. I will be collecting these now, so that is one, so... Yeah, I think until there's like ten different that, but... I'll collect them as I go around and see them in that. I know I've gone past some that. Things like the drain that by field 12 and that, that little drain area, that little crossing. There's a drainage area there, I know there's one right there. I think going forward, I may include a, a short three second clip between episodes. Or just something on along those lines, I think, to be fair in that. But yep, yeah, as I said, I will continue on this. 
get us all done. I know it'd be quicker if we did it this way now ourselves, but I do want to use the worker in that because yeah, Tupon is home lazy and currently I just come back from doing the mod review now. I've got to do it about an hour or two ago, I think. Because yeah, I had a break after doing the mod review, even though it wasn't mega mods we had today. It's just me and how I like to go into details and that, plus what a bit of procrastination. Meant I didn't get the mod review done, the mods dropped out, what? I think the update started around, dropped around quarter past four and that. And even then, about half four, quarter to five is when all the mods load up onto the mod hub on the console, like on the actual in game and that. So, yeah, I still took what, three and a half hours, almost four hours to do that overall. But anyway, so yeah. Bang, so, so yeah, so many mods we had today. Yeah, no, not mega boss and that. Oh, do not say we can't hire a worker. Ah, uh, field of grass is going to be meadow grass, so that's also another reason why I don't think we're going to hit the half mil mark. But that means we got to do all of this ourselves. So yeah, it's going to take us yeah at least two around quarter past two at the most and that. Yeah, I don't see it taking longer than that, but anyways, let's get this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
o'clock, and that's because I've been busy doing some bit more mowing, a bit more bathing than that. And yeah, we had to stop for the day, or I should prefer it for like a month than that. That's because we have hit the bell limit, so we got 22 bells we've belled, so from the field we were doing, so this one over here, we got 12 bells from that. And yeah, what I done was, I went around the map, I mowed this area over here, and yeah, I'm trying to think what else I done, I mowed a bit of forestry area over here, a bit of grass over here, you can sort of see, and yeah, again, mowed this area here, this area over here, and all of this that we had access and ownership of. So yeah, all we need to do is pretty much to finish off the bailing on this, and I think we've got a bit more to bail. I think it's along this road up here. Yeah, I think it's along this road I've gone and mowed some bits. So yeah, we're going to get a couple more bells from it. However, we're at the bell limit, so I even tried to put everything to the bell and pallet storage, but because obviously there are grass bells currently fermented for... or fermenting to slice bells. Yeah, that's going to take some time. Like, we're already at 3%, so we should be fine. But I thought, just take a quick stop here and just show where we are. So, I'm thinking, do we sell now or wait for the next episode? I think, actually, you know what? Let's sell everything in this episode. So, I think we're going to have to go into December and that. And then, yeah, we'll finish uh, bathing in that. So, those last few bells are going to be bathing or trading in that. And, even though with these two, I'm going to need to maybe purchase this because this is going to be a very ideal trade for us. Especially when it comes to our. We'll look at the bells in a sec. 202 bells at the moment. If we go into our bell and pallet storage, we've got a bunch of these bottled milk. So, we've got 20 here at the moment. And yeah, we've got a bunch more over there and that, so I want to keep that production going. Actually, to be fair, I want to look at that production right now. Because yeah, one thing I don't want to do is waste opportunity of making milk or bottled milk. So yeah, we're going to go all the way down here once again. Bottled milk. Yeah, we cleared a lot of space we did in the last episode, so... Or in between episodes, so yeah. Plenty of spaces there at the moment, and yeah. Got a bit of time to wait. Actually, I could do a very little top up and actually have a little check on our cows whilst we're here. So, yeah, got a little bit more milk. Food is okay for the most part. Ah, yeah, I forgot to do hay because I leased a tether, didn't I, for the calves and that. Fuck. So, actually, what we can do is involves wind rowing and tethering again, like leasing equipment and that. But, what I may do is get this wind roads, this section here, or do we just buy hay bells? If, yeah, you know what? Forget it. For now, oh well, yeah, because I completely forgot about the calves and that, because they don't need TMR and that. They don't need TMR, our beef cattle, they don't need TMR and that. There's only our adult cows over 12 months that is actually needed and worth doing, so... So yeah, I, that's a bit of an oopsie there on my part, I will admit. Bitch, little straw there on the, the cow pen. I think that's the outside pen. But yeah, so I'll get some more milk. So yeah, we'll go and we got 117 of the bigger belt square bells. Got that one small square bell. Obviously, we actually done with that start. Along with 52 of the round grass bells that I did as well. Combine that with the 22. Ram bells we've got at the moment, that is 5.63 or, or so million the years of size. So, we smash that 5 mil mark, and yep, yeah, I think I may show some collectibles being collected at. Mine's also gone up a little bit because I sold all of our other traders, because yeah, plan is to purchase this, and yeah, also, yeah, I think it's purchasing the lorry in the spring as well. But yeah, for now, I think we'll at least the bell trade on that. I'll keep this one on these for now till January. And then, yeah, I think we'll go and at least another one of this. I could do pallets and that. Also, pallets, and yep, yeah, we'll get that all taken care of. But yeah, that's it for me for now for today. And yeah, I'll see you folks in December at some point when we're ready to sell our silage. And there we go. So now we are in December, Nat. 
And as you see on the top right, the money has gone down significantly. And that's because we've got a financial crisis on the farm. Like, I was like, whilst recording this episode, I was like, news of my money's going down like, here and there when I was looking at the money now, thinking, why is it just all of a sudden dropped down by a couple of grand, you know, when it goes over an hour and that? That is because we go into our finances, t financial tab and that, so what we're looking at is our production costs and that, right back in the middle there, so August and that, and I think even September is when I was setting up the series and that, October and that, 94 grand in production cost. November on the other hand, the entire month and that, £265,000. And already in December and that, so we were like 10 hours into December and that, and already we spent 56 grand on production cost, and that is, even at the moment when I've shut some productions down and that, that's still going to be about £288,000 a month for losing, just for running our productions and that, and to be fair, yes, I've got a fair bit fair few productions running but nothing with like you know high production costs because yeah if we have a look here production cost per month 120 pounds so so yeah we've got one two three four five of the grannies and that so that on its own is what 600 pounds but milk 24 a month so but yeah as going across here and i'm gonna scroll for scroll through as i'm chatting that I've even turned some of these recipes down because I wasn't sure if it was like multiple recipes. That means it adds up the production cost per month or what. I have never encountered this issue in this issue in what, three years or so? FS Rich has been out. Yeah, our greenhouse is that. Two bucks a month, two pounds a month and that. So same two pounds a month and that. But yeah, I think I've got a weird glitch in that. That means I am absolutely bleeding money in that. But yeah, I've gone and changed a few things out, like things like I've own I've put Surrey in, into our oh what's it, the agricultural facility in that. Or the farm productions, agricultural productions and that. But yeah, even like the BJ in that. Hundred and fifty one a month. Like there's nothing that's saying that, you know, hundreds of thousands of pounds, like tens of thousands a month in that. So at the moment I do not know what's going on here, so at the moment I'm scared. I think we're gonna have to shut down a lot of our productions and that, I think to be fair and that. Even when I've got stuff on set, we're off some of this cost we are like with our greenhouses and that. So yeah, for example, because our greenhouses, tomatoes, there is and all that. We are selling a lot of this, so apart from sugar beet, which makes sense, cotton we're selling that. To be fair to call on that, we can distribute that to the grinding knitwear and that down the road because now we've got those. But yeah, cotton on its own, we're producing how much a month? Uh, 20,000, 30,000 litres a month. So, because yeah, the production costs per month and cycles per month in that. Yeah, that should be, yeah, it should be 1,000, yeah, it can't be 1,536 times two because. With all the productions I've run, things like No Man's Land and that, you know, with that Survival Challenge series I've done, I had a production hub in that. Uh, yeah, I still don't recall encountering a issue like that. I'm not sure if I still got this game save still saved in that on my PlayStation and that. Because, you know, we're doing map tours and that, mod reviews and that. I do clear every so often in my save slots now, because you're only now 10 save slots on console and that, so. That's so, like you can just, well, I think you perhaps could drag the save file on that, potentially onto the PC and that, back it up, but it's not something as easy as, like, you know, on PC where you could go to the individual save files and that. But yeah, honestly, at the moment, I do not know, and we've gone the wrong way as we're going to the store to sell, or we'll sort of send some of our, uh, what was it? Um, storage bells, because yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> that's where we came back from, wasn't it? That, Hey, that grass for now, if you think about doing hay. So, yeah, on that front, at least, you know, on something a bit more positive, I didn't need a wind rower or a tether and wind rower. All I'd done was, uh, at least a forest wagon. That cost us, what, a grand a bit, two grand, so that. And, yeah, so on that front, at least, not too bad, because 
yeah, we got all that little forestry area there between 23 and 35. Along with the strip, I forgot on field one, now like in that ver like division version, whatever it is there. I've got that got cleared up, so yeah, we had about 160,000 years of grass, and that's all being converted into A, so for our agricultural production facility and that. But yeah, the head is still scratching now, like. Because first of all, I was thinking, could it be the loan than that? That's costing us all the money, but. Yeah, I was going to show you again that. If we go to our finances and that, I know the loan interest ain't that expensive and that on FSA because when I was running my $10,000 dollar year, whatever it is, farming at on Carpathian and Countryside. So if we look at loan interest and that, property income. Yeah, loan interest that, right at the bottom, at most, 6000 so yeah, only a couple of thousand here and there. But yeah, we've made 11,000 11, from selling our products in the greenhouses and all that, our productions. But yeah, production cost down by four or 56,000. So overall for the month, yeah, considering that there's BJ income and all that, we're at a net loss of 40,000 in 10 hours. So we are losing 4,000 an hour, 24 hours, times that by 3 because we're doing 3D months and that. That is 288,000 reducing a month. And yet again, my head is just scratching around like, I mean, like thinking about it the last hour or so, like, what the heck is going on here? I haven't, I haven't done any testing in that until I just came back on that because I do need to get this episode out because currently it is. 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday. I was planning to get come out this morning now, but yeah, when I was doing the size fields and that, or the silage on fields, or the new the new areas could be our metal and, yeah, sorry, metal and gem production and that. I was a bit dr uh, drowsy and that, dozing off. You can probably tell by the time lapse a little bit. Even though with the time lapse of that, we'll skewed over that just ever so slightly in that, but. So yeah, I need to get this episode out today. And, uh, yeah, it's and uploaded along with F1 Manager 24. And then yeah, before I go out this evening that, before I got doctors and that in, what three hours time. Now in this beginning mods and that, I want to do two videos and that. Uh, at least well, again it's something a bit different it is off what I'm planning on doing in that. Rather than you know just let and mod reviews, I want to try to do some other videos on FS22 and that. I am going to be work well, I was meant to start this, what, a month ago, Nat? But, yeah, due to obviously what I said in my mod review towards the end of it, yeah, be caught up with other Nats. So, yeah, the mod, the mod reviews and that has dropped a lot. And, yeah, with just that in general, sorry about that, I just lost some train of thought there, but, yeah, so, got plans for some videos and that, so do some, like, go to that kind of videos, or at least some. I say it's more informative videos and that, and then as well, do some work on, you know, FS25 and that, to get my thoughts all together with it, that's everything that's dropped so far. But anyway, so we've got 22 grass bells, 22 size bells, I hope. Yeah, 22 size bells, times that by 50,000, is X amount, I can't remember, top of my head. But yeah, it is time to sell 5.6 million litres of silage in that, and... Why are I having these issues? There we go. Yeah, the trigger area for this ain't as big as it could be in that. But already that is 400 grand from that. I do need to, because I did return the, uh, what's it, lorry and trailer in that. But yeah, so I shot some productions off, including the BGA. Are we still hemorrhaging money in that? 885 grand. That drops to 881 grand. We know we've got an issue still. Seven grand. That's dropped even more than that has. I think, seriously, you know what? I'm going to turn. Yeah, next episode, I'm going to turn every production off because. Yeah, we're losing more money, even though I've turned productions off in that. Again, how is that happening? Honestly, I do not know, but. 
a maze, Lori Nat, so yeah, I thought, heck it, let's purchase the Lori Nat. Along with that, the trailer for it, so we can figure it to sell bottled milk Nat. Because, yeah, we're losing 280 grand a month. Next episode is going to be in the December 2 or even January Nat, most likely December 2, where we get the metal and gem production on the way, but yeah. We need to sell this flight nap for one to buy TMR for a cows and that, hay and that if we need it. Even at the moment, food wise, we're good and that on our animals because they're all calves at the moment for the most part. So, yeah, just remember where which path is. So, we've got to take a left up here and that, by field six. But yeah, so I'll also include some clips of us selling some bells. And then I will wrap up the episode here, I think, with selling some of the bottled milk. A fair bit of sun there, we sold a fair bit of silage, including some new silage we had inside of that. So, overall, it was about 6 million years of silage we sold. However, you can see there is a little hut here in that, so this is where we send our bottled milk in that. And you can see it is worth significantly more in that, so yeah, technically, you could wait another month or two, but. I'm happy with four and a half grand, so you know what? I'm just gonna say, heck it and sell it. So should get about yeah, well over two hundred grand for this. And yep, yeah, we're unloading our milk. But yeah, so the whole production situation, you know, costing us an arm and a leg and a half at least. So I guess we'll turn that off a sec. Go find a trigger for that. So, ah, wait a minute. Yep, lunar area adjusted. There we go. So, yeah, production costs and that. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Like, I thought I'll go into this episode, you know, you know, return to making this place and that. And yeah, you know, sell six million of silage and that, as you, one does and that. Okay, our grocer doesn't estimate that because that was meant to be. So yeah, that was fifty thousand years and got a hundred grand. So what in the world is going on here? So yeah, finances are normal economy in that, so that's good. But yeah, let's go to our prices now once more. Sex, so bear with me. So yeah, we just got robbed. Yeah, that was like hundred grand, wasn't it? 
and we also get meant to get well more than that so actually let me do the math a sec so 4,599 times that by 50,000 that should be yeah 200 and yeah 229 grand so basically just under 230 grand so we just got robbed off 130 grand give or take or was I missing some bits? Oh no, that was for the second bit, sorry, no. <laughs> that was just for that middle bit there, not the entire section. Uh, well, yeah, it was about 203 grand. Yeah, just looking at our money now, because yeah, it was just over 3 mil, weren't we? So, false alarm on that front, but yeah, I'm just so frustrated with the productions and that, so... Actually, what? I'm going to do this now, so I want to go to our productions and that. Every production has been turned off, and one thing I want to see is what in the frick happens because if it's a case of I have to go hour by hour, figure out what production is costing us normally in the of the month, you know, 288 grand, 300 grand a month. That production is going because, regardless of how much money we're going to be making from any production, and uh, yeah, my guess is going to be either the agricultural nut production facility, whatever it is, or the bottled milk production. That is my only thinking of what it could be, because like, the open air gardens and that, I've run those before and that. But yeah, it's these farm productions and that, because... Yeah, that is the one that is killing us, so... Nothing is active, so... Let's skip ahead a little bit. We may get charged a little bit for this hour and that. Okay, wage payment and that, so alright, let's skip ahead another hour. So we're on 248450. 248450, so yeah, we only lost a grand, so. Where are we losing that grand from? Grand from, because that is still what? 24 grand, 48,1260, 72,000 we're losing a month. Since we're running 3D months and that. And again, going to our finances and that. New vehicles, no. Construction costs, new. No. Leasing costs, new. No. It's got to be production costs because there's nothing else going up, so. Seventy nine, three, two, four. 324. Skip ahead another hour. Seventy nine, yeah, seventy nine thousand three hundred and twenty four. And is that gonna go up? Yeah, that's gone up by a grand. So even if you got no productions running, yes, I know they're selling at the moment or whatever in that, but that is just weird. Like we're hemorrhaging money, we are. So you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna continue on this. Put everything back on. Because, yeah, I am not having this. Like, losing 288 grand a month. Like, honestly, I don't know. Like, the exact figure to be in the thumbnail on that. Obviously, in that overall. But, yeah, just. I am absolutely baffled, like, on terms of what the frick is going on here. Like, because, yeah, a 300 grand deficit a month. That is 3.6 million we're losing a year. On a series where I want to get 10,000 cows in. But if we're going to get something like do productions or silage and that, just to overcompensate our costs and that, like that silage we just sold there, that just about covers us for what? 10, 11 months and that? That is one of our moan sessions and that, and we can get about 3, 4 cuts a year out of it, so. Yeah, that's just absolutely baffling, like... Honestly, I don't know what to do here, and I need to do some research on that, because... Yeah, losing 288 grand a month in productions and that... It's baffling. Again, if anyone knows what's going on, because... Yeah, I'll show you what productions i got here, so... Greenhouses and that, fair enough. We've got this, these, two of these, and these ones are... I want to get the exact name of it, so... No, not PG that. 
Yeah, agricultural supply productions. That is what's costing us a normal leg, I think. So either that, or it's the granny grain that we're at because that is the only thing we've got else down here, the grain that we're at. And yeah, we suddenly spend half a meal to get the melt and gem production on the way that at least. But it's not gonna put extra costs on us to the point where it's not gonna be worth doing. If the mar if the profits are marginal, which I know it's somewhat marginal, but still. Oh god, like really I'm losing my mind here, like it is baffling with all this, but anyways. I think that's what, yeah, I think that's what we're going to leave it today, because, yeah, time is getting a long bit here. It's been a while since I've done the last segment and that. But anyways, glad to be returning to the next place. Plan on doing live streams at some point. Going to be working on videos and that tonight when I get back from club and that, or whatever. But yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, smash the button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some please be my guest. If you're not, subscribe to the channel yet, then please consider... But for you to do, hope you nice day. But for now, it's me farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all a very soon. <laughs>